because of a good friend and subscriber, Milt, I now am the owner of a Cox engine. Now it was Milt that sent me a box of engines and two of the engines in that box uh, were Cox engines. One was a Black Widow and one was a Medallion. I recently was successful in getting the Black Widow to run but even prior to that I had kind of been searching on eBay and got really lucky I think in that I found this beautiful little Cox Golden Bee engine. Now I don't know a whole lot about these small one half A engines or Cox engines in general but I do know this that I found out on Wikipedia that this engine was produced between 1958 and 1980 which means that if this is an original and not a rebuilt engine this engine is at least 38 years old so I thought because it looks so nice and listen to this it's it's got good compression but I want you Cox aficionados to hear this hear that squeaking sound I'm not sure what that means now let me zoom in here on this thing if you look at the side of the piston like I said I'm not that familiar with these things I'm not sure if uh, over heavy use the side of the piston turns brown or not but this one is completely shiny so with that being said um, I want to do a quick look inside of this engine now I don't have a Cox wrench to actually take the cylinder off the case here but I do have a set of pliers that I think I can get the glow head off and then of course I've got <coughs> got a uh, screwdriver for the tank so let's just uh, okay so that didn't take much effort to take off let's uh, zoom in here a bit more and unscrew this glow head and see what the condition of the top of the piston is. Okay, so we're at top dead center there. I don't know. Does that look like it's been run? I don't know what the top of a Cox piston, if it should be the same color as the side. I'm thinking maybe it should. So it looks like maybe this has been run a time or two. It looks like there might be a little bit of oil residue in there. The glow head looks fine. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of quickly thread this back on and we'll just take take this uh, back plate and the fuel tank off real quick and see what the condition of the reed valve and the inside of the tank is. Okay, so there's the inside. Let me do a sniff test. Hmm. It smells like something has been in there. But the thing I don't understand is oh, there we go. <coughs> oh, very nice. So here's our pickup tube and apparently there's some little spring in it this pickup tube feels really really old and dry rotted so I'm not so sure that this is gonna survive uh, I don't know if I can just use standard uh, silicon fuel tubing or what but that is a uh, really old and dry that needs to be replaced <clears throat> now as far as this reed valve and the gasket and the gasket doesn't look like it wants to come apart from that tank, so I'm not going to force it to. I might be able to get this off real gently. Uh, it looks like it's a little copper reed valve. And if I get a T-pin here, maybe I can kind of gently lift it up. Okay, so that looks like it's in decent shape. A little bit of green there because it's copper. That's uh, the copper patina. <clears throat> so I guess that reed valve looks okay. I'm going to very gently put this spring back in place here. Hopefully it's gentle. 
Now, <clears throat> let's look at this. Come on, camera, zoom, or focus. It's very nice in there. Now I'm looking at it through the viewfinder or the uh, LCD on my camera. I'm not sticking my head down in there, but from what I can see, it looks pretty damn nice. Man, if it if it was run, it was run years ago because I don't even feel any moisture like oil on there at all. So I'm saying that this is a freaking pristine engine and a pretty decent score. So I'm gonna think about see if I've got some small tubing to replace this with before I put this thing back together. But anyway, that's a quick look at my newest edition, which is a Cox Golden Bee. So look for some uh, videos to run videos of this to be uh, produced very shortly. And thank you for watching.